Hello everyone and you're all very welcome to the another career Q&A for the From Fold to Race TY program. Our guest today is John Gleason. He is an amateur jockey who also works part-time in John Kiley and Joseph O'Brien's training yards and he is also studying for his leaving certificate. John has achieved a lot in his short career so far. He has ridden 23 winners in Ireland and notable wins for John include the Amateur Derby at the Curra, the Grade 2 Future Stars Derby at Leopardstown, and a recent win at Cheltenham, the champion bumper on A Dream to Share. Hi, John. Thank you so much for joining us and for being a part of the From Fall to Race Careers Q&A. Hi, Amy. Um, thank you very much for having me on. So, John, I have a few questions of my own before I ask you uh, the few questions that have come in from the participants from the programme. So thank you to everyone who submitted questions. Really, really appreciate your participation. So my first question, very, very basic. How did you get into racing? Um, I suppose I'm very fortunate, Amy. I've always been kind of born into racing through dad. Um, dad is always, obviously, dad does a lot of um, present on television and he's always had a couple of horses of his own that he's owned and a couple of broodmares and um he kind of brought me into John Kiley who would have been my local trainer 10 minutes from home I kind of went into him every Saturday and it kind of grew from there really um I got bitten by the bug fairly early and um it's all I kind of ever wanted to do really was was do do something with horses and how, how old were you when you rode your first horse um, I suppose I didn't really do, uh, not as early as expected, I suppose. I didn't really actually ride a horse when I was 12, even though I was always around them. I think Dad was maybe trying to see if he could keep me away from the riding at the beginning, but um, I um, I got I got the bug fairly quickly for the riding, and um, it was all I wanted to do. I, I think that's probably, there's a similar origin story with a lot of jockeys, you know, get bitten by the bug and then you, you can't be stopped. Um, John, how do you prepare for a big race? Um, I suppose um, a lot of dedication goes into it, really trying to keep fit and healthy as well. And, you know, go, doing a lot of gym and doing your homework on the races as well. You know, it's all very important. It's all a help. But um, yeah, look, it's, it's a lot of dedication that goes into it. But um, I really love it. I really enjoy it. So I don't really mind it at all. And have you completed any kind of a official professional training to be a jockey? Or are you still in the early stages of that? Yeah, my license is an amateur license, so it's a two day course up in race to qualify to, to get the license. And thankfully, I did that there a couple of years back. So, um, yeah, I know it's, it's a license that restricts you just to ride in kind of the last race each day, which is called the bumper. So you don't ride against professionals, you just ride against amateurs. So um, it's 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 a nice license. There's plenty of fun to have with it. And um, no, I'm really enjoying it. Brilliant. Uh, I wonder, could you give us a little bit more of an insight into what you would do at a training yard? So I know you work part time. We said it at the beginning uh, for John Kiley and Joseph O'Brien. So maybe take us through, you know, a daily routine there, what you would do and how you'd help out. Um, yeah, I suppose on a daily basis on a school day, really, I'd be I'd be in for John there about just after seven and I'd, I'd start mucking out a couple of the horses in there. And then John would usually give us a list of horses to tack up that we would um ride in the gallops. And we'd tack up maybe two lots and we'd we'd ride them down the gallops and come back up and wash them and put them back on the walker and do the same with the second lot. And I try and squeeze all that in really before quarter to nine and have a quick shower and change and get into school for, for nine if I can. And that's usually during the week and obviously on a Saturday then that would drag out a bit more. There'd be more horses ridden and so but um yeah, it's all busy, but I'm enjoying it. I'm sure you get asked this question an awful lot, but how do you balance all of that with doing your leaving cert at the same time? Yeah, look, it's, there's a lot going on at the minute, but um, uh, the racing side of it, you know, you have to, there's a lot of dedication with that, but balancing the books is important as well. So I try and do a bit of study there in the evening, especially this and that racing, but um. Yeah, the evening starts getting closer now, so I think um I'll be riding in fewer races than normal tonight for sure. 
Yeah, absolutely. We're we're in at the the eleventh of April now, so you're through your mocks. You're you're heading straight in now to the the big exams. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. I got the orals out of the way there as well, so it's only I think seven or eight weeks now, so it's not a long way. But um, I'll be happy to 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 get them done. With. Yeah, I'd say you'd be delighted to get it done and then go into a busy summer. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, no, looking forward to the summer coming up. So um, it left me up get the get the leaving out of the way first. Do you have any advice for young jockeys on where to start? Um, I suppose if you wanted to get into racing, really, um, race there. Erin Kildare offers some great courses for people that want to get involved and there's plenty of people around obviously Ireland that have training yards around that are happy to help and really it's a great industry to get involved and you know there's plenty of people that are willing to, to give great advice and support and you know um the more listening you do and this industry is great you know you pick up something new every day and it's a great industry to learn and you can really excel in it and um you know, I couldn't recommend it more for anybody that wants to be hands-on and be involved. Definitely for any of you who are participants in the program and are, are tuning into this. So there is a little bit about, a rate, about race in the program, an excellent resource, and they're always willing to help people and direct them to appropriate resources on how to get involved. We will also link that in the bottom in the description as well for your own information. So my next question, John, is maybe if you could tell us about your favourite part of your career so far or a notable highlight that was was particularly exciting. Um, yeah, I've been very lucky to be honest so far. Uh, um, I've had I've had plenty of success, which I'm very grateful for. I suppose um, Ch the Cheltenham Festival is definitely the, the biggest highlight so far, and I win the the champion bumper there on a dream to share. There, that was um that was a very good day. <clears throat> I was trained by um John Kiley, who I work with every day there before school, and my mum and dad actually bred the horse as well, so. That was a special day and um, <clears throat> one I won't forget anyway, for sure. Great. Um, and if you weren't, if you weren't a jockey or, I mean, I know that's currently um, what you're up to, but would you consider a different career in the racing industry? Is there any other areas that you are looking into? Uh, not at the minute anyway, for sure. It's all kind of a bit tunnel vision with the racing at the minute anyway. I'm really enjoying it, so I haven't really put too much thought into anything else at the minute. Anyway. Yeah, and I think that is something to be appreciated as well, especially going into, you know, your leaving cert and the, the typical stream is leaving cert straight to college and it's kind of difficult to come up for air, so taking it one day at a time. Yeah, that's it. No, 100%. We'll jump each hurdle as we, as we come to it. So I have just two questions here from programme participants. Um, I'm sure you've probably answered this to death at this stage, but could you describe what it felt like to be at Cheltenham? Yeah, a, a bit surreal, really. It was my um, first time at the festival this year, so I was so used to really watching it on television and so on. So to be there was a bit mad, really, to be honest, and let alone to be there, but to be riding there and also to have a winner there, really, I can't really, it's hard to get my head around it all still, to be honest, but... um. No, it was a great day and it's a special place, Cheltenham. Yeah, no, it's definitely a place worth, worth visiting at some stage. And maybe for anyone who doesn't know, could you tell us a little bit more about A Dream to Share? So the horse that you 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 won on. There's a little bit of a, a family history there with that horse. Yeah, that's right, Amy. Um, Mam and Dad bred the horse, so we have the, the mother, the broodmare, here at home so it's very special you know you, you see them as foals and yearlings and two-year-olds bringing them up along and dad gave him a bit of time and he kept him as a four-year-old to run him in a four-year-old there he had his first race in Tipperary there last May when I won on him Um, I've been lucky to win four races on him now obviously he won on the grade two in Leopardstown and the champion bumper and please god he's going to Punchestown in two weeks time for the grade one there so look really looking forward to him and he's trained 10 minutes from home here with John Kiley, so I ride him out every day before school. So it's uh it's 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 very special, you know. A horse like him is very very hard to come by, obviously, and um very lucky to obviously have 
to get to get the chance to ride a horse like him. So we're we're looking forward to punch us down now. Great, and we wish you wish you the best of luck with that as well. Um, just gonna have a little look here at the final few questions from participants. See, if we can pick a good one, nice easy one. But there's one here. What's what's your favorite part about race day, either as a spectator or as a rider? Um, I suppose the win the winners really any damn. Um, there's nothing quite like them. I obviously been lucky to have big ones, but um, each one of them all means something. To be honest, there's nothing like having a winner, and um, there's a great adrenaline rush after really a great kick off. It. And uh, yeah, no, um, you couldn't have enough of them really. To be honest. Super. Thanks so much, John. Is there is there anything you'd like to say to anyone who's participating in the program? Any words of encouragement? I know just really if you're into anything like that, just keep the head down and and, and keep um working away and your opportunities will come. But um, thanks thanks very much for having me on. Amy. Thank you. So thanks a million to John for joining us and thanks a million for all of you for joining us on the careers uh, Q&A for From Fold to Race. We will see you again uh, next time when we have our next guest. For any of the teachers out there, make sure that your pupils are all prepared and ready with their submissions, their reflection exercise. You'll be getting an email shortly with the final details of that. So thanks again to everyone for joining us and we will see you next time.